Wow. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dustin VG Streams, where the average stream lasts longer than Concord did on the market.
Hang on, just just a moment. Just a moment. Boot. Yeah, it's not it's not doing so good. I remember seeing it on uh the state of play and then I was like, "Hmm, I do not wish to play that." And apparently a lot of other people echoed my sentiment. Yeah, like it has fewer players than the freaking Lord of the Rings Gollum game. Anyway, Paper Mario. A game which is not related to Concord in any f meaningful way. Last time we were in Space Station Silicon Valley. Sorry, just one sec, gotta change the thing. Anyway, let's explore the fortress. The x Not Fortress. This is a fortress corridor. An elevator connects it to the lower floors. I guess this fortress extends pretty far beneath the surface of the moon, huh? I mean, I hate Grotus, but I gotta give him some props for a pretty cool evil hideout. Yeah. Okay, we got the black x knots And unfortunately, he has items, which is not good for me. That's an elite x knot This guy is the creme de la creme of the x knots Max HP is 10, attack is 5, defense is 1. He'll use regular attacks as well as boosting his power or size. Elite x knots are tough, but you just have to smack away until they go down. Yeah, okay. Now he's gonna use the lightning on me. Yep. Yeah, I can't guard against that. This music is almost like if Sonic CD had turn-based battles. Wait, you mean you didn't find the turn-based battles in Sonic CD? How embarrassing. I don't really care. But yeah, it does kind of have that dancey, like, house feel to it. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that I can't use the elevator right now. Okay, so I don't have any space for that. I, I, I'm gonna have to use items. I'm gonna have to use items. So can I use this? Nope. Didn't think so. Uh-oh, it's the battle for Bikini Bottom Dance Electro Floor. Oh, wait. Oh, no, you gotta remember. I almost had it. I, I had to go one tile further. The Mermelair! Yep. Okay, I'm gonna save that block for later, because I don't- like I said, I don't have any space. Alright, going down. I guess I'm going to sub-level one, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me where anything is. Yeah, and it has different variations for which sub-level you're on. Okay, the boozer here. 
Uh, let's let's use an item. Let's use an item. There you go. Ah, oh, but I don't get any star points for that. Lame. Lame. And then I get another- I get a lightning. The game just throws items at me. Oh, there's a star piece in here. Gears under repair. Uh. The button does nothing! It does nothing, Goombella! So yeah, I gotta put a gear in here, I suppose. Didn't mean to rhyme. But, you know, sometimes it happens. Sometimes you just can't help rhyming. Oh. And there's... <laughs> there's the Asian, like... Whatever it's called, instruments. Because this modern Paper Mario just simply cannot help itself. Okay, well, you know what? Thunder Rage. Okay, I, I mean, I got experience from that guy. I don't know. Maybe those guys are just too weak. Insert door key. Please enter the access code. Oh. Enter the access code. Uh. Let's see. Incorrect access code. Okay, well, there's nothing for me up here. So we're going down even further. We are going deeper into the moon to find Olmec or something. Scientist! Kill! Okay, Goombella, tell me about the nerd. Show me this guy's balls. That's an X-Not PhD. Guys like this invent all the annoying things we fight. He likes to throw beakers of chemicals. Chemicals do all kinds of stuff, like making things huge or burning people. Yeah, I mean... Uh, not Maybe not making things huge, but chemicals do burn people. Make himself impossible. So... So he's the mage. He's the magician, the science magician. Okay, drinking the green sludge, now he is big. Okay, this should take him out. Cool. And now that we have destroyed science, all is well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's on the wall. Okay, that wasn't it. Hang on, um.
Okay, I got it. The security key. Uh, I don't know what door that goes to. Okay, now what's in here? Oh yeah, this is the room. You, you remember this room that Peach was in? Keep the workspace orderly. I have some stuff to do, so I'm not coming into work tomorrow, and that's that. I'm not coming in anymore. Okay, so I'm switching to Miss Mouse, because I, I want that badge. There we go. But now he's drank. He's getting crunk. Oh uh, no, now everybody's wobbly. Well, I mean, it was worth a try. H had to try. Oh, I missed the stylish. I didn't need the stylish, but I still missed it. Ow, he made me tiny! Oh, and he made her defenseless. Too bad I don't care! But is there anything cool in here? I'm gonna push all the buttons. <laughs> Miss Mouse is having a fun time. Participation is not voluntary. Yeah, she just the music's real good, so she's getting down. Okay, so I assume I go over, I go back up to that door that I didn't have, but I want to explore. We're going to do that. Oh, hey, check this out. Boop. What is it, girl? Is it over here? No, it is not. I did not mean to go in the teleporter. But you get to see what the teleporter does. Oh, it's the gear up there that she's smelling. Let's see, here's where the teleporter takes you. Where are we anyway? Yeah, see? That, that's what that house is. We're underneath Rogueport. The X-Not used that thing to come here from the moon. Yeah, so if you're wondering, like, do we have to go through the whole cannon thing every time we want to go back to the moon? Uh, no. <laughs> I have done nothing but teleport bread for the past three days. Now the question is... How do I get up there? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, no, wait, I know how I'll get up there. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't want to kill it. I needed to tattle that. 
Oh no! Oh well, I I mean I assume we'll get another chance because I mean they wouldn't just put this enemy in here one time, would they? They wouldn't do it just once. Oh hey, look, this is where they're making this is where they're making them. This is where they're making them. I uh, see there's another one. There's another one. Oh wait, have I already... Have I already tattled those? I don't remember tattling those. Okay, no. Nah. I, I think I have already tattled that variant. I think I'm thinking of a different variant. Nope. I absorb. Nope. There we go. All right, guys, now it's time to be a little sus. Okay. We gotta be a little sus here. Okay, so there's a lot of vents that you can go through, and there's a star piece over here. I think the one we want is this one. Yeah, there we go. I'll switch to Naka. And there we go. Let's have a quick save. You know, this this panel kind of looks like Master Chief. Oh, there's another elevator. All right, now what's in here? Oh, this is the dressing room, okay. Today's code is, uh, 114020, or no, 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 014029. Okay, I will not forget it. Okay, okay, will not forget that. Now what happens if I go in here? Hmm? What if I go in here? You didn't- you don't know it, but Mario actually changed his clothes. But no, there's actually something else to that that I want to show you. A little- little Easter egg. If you go into it from the vent... Oh, I'm the 8-bit man! I'm 8-bit Waluigi! So yeah, keeping up with the Easter egg that Mario RPG in the original Paper Mario set up, you can, uh... You, beco you can become the 8-bit man. And this time, your partner gets a sprite too, so let let's see. Let's see everybody in action. So, this is Goombella's. Here's Coops. Flurry. <laughs> little silly. Hers is a little silly. Oh, we already saw- we already saw the Yoshi sprite. Oh, but- 
The fact that he's the black Yoshi with the red hair means that they have variants for every Yoshi, which is pretty good. Pretty cool. Okay, Vivian. Her tail does not extend like this. Let me see, how many colors is on that sprite? Let's see, purple, white, pink, red, so there's four. So Vivian's hat or hair has to be an- has to be an extra sprite. That's the only way for this to work. Okay, here's Bobbery. And finally, Miss Mouse. Oh, I love hers. Hers is adorable. But yeah, just go- go back in here. Oh, oh, no. How do I change back? Oh, I just leave the room. I just leave the room. <laughs> Sadly, I don't think Super Paper Mario has a comparable Easter egg, but it does work in 8-bit sprites in a different way. So you're just- if you don't know, you can either look it up or just wait and see till in five years when I play that. Let's see. Okay. I'll do this. Do we have any items I can use on these guys? Yeah, we'll do the Thunder Rage. Okay, it only killed that one. Oh, nope. Oh, yep. Uh-oh, he got lightning too, though. Oh, close to a level. Very close. And I am so rich. I came back when I was a little richer. Okay, this might be the guy I was thinking of. Ow. Oh, so that doesn't even get me into a battle. That just hurts me in the overworld. Oh, I'd probably heal up before another battle. Nah, I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. Here, look, look. We can- we can make this work. We got it. Oh no! I touched the stinky mushroom. The n the nasty mushroom. The gnarliest thing in Rogueport. Okay, but right here. The X yucks. Oh, is this how you get your yucks? That's an X yucks. I hear this is read as cross yucks, not as X yucks. Anyway, this is a new yucks designed to protect extra important areas. They were designed to be unbeatable. They're not. <laughs> they can produce too many X yuxes at once, or cross yuxes, and it has excellent success rate of immobilizing opponents. We've got to do something about that if we're going to win. So the question is, if this is pronounced cross yucks, then are they the cross knots? Has this been a giant tic-tac-toe pun this entire time? Unfortunately, only Grotus knows for sure. Uh, Mario is paralyzed from the ass down. Okay, this is not working out. What if I- what if I did it right back at you there, boy?
Okay, well, it doesn't work on the big one if the shield is up. So that was kind of just a waste. Okay, that's that's too many. That is too many. Oh wait, crap. Here, here, I'll do, I'll do this. Just give him a little earthquake. This attack takes a while. <laughs> yeah, knock him. I I almost I almost had a I almost said something not good. And then you guys would be, would have been like, haha, see Dustin Dustin did the beat him off thing again. <laughs> but I didn't. Now what are you gonna do? Where's your clip now? What does this do? What does this do? Kill the computer. Except, no, don't kill the computer, because the computer was our friend. Oh, Grotus' room again. What's this room for, huh? Is it some kind of office the, for the Exynos boss, or what? Boy, what's with these tanks full of nibbles? Jeepers, that creeps me out. D Daphne? So you did have to go in there. Hang on, let me... Yeah, let's, so we can speed this up just a little bit. Insert elevator key. Don't have it. Okay, back up to the... No, no, I want to go to the, the sub-level one. That's right. Because there's the gear floor. I mean room. The gear room. <laughs> Peepus room. Yeah, that, that guy's just too weak. I kill him. Okay, here we go. Stick that gear in there, stick a cog. Okay, so, wait. Was this part of the, the puzzle? Left, right, middle, okay. My photographic memory. I mean, there's only so many combinations it could be. Oh, is this the claw game? Oh, we're playing the claw game. Trendy game. It's trendy. Okay, hold down Y to move left. Y and X, okay. Okay, good, thank you. Oh no! Hey, whatever. I don't really care that much.
Yeah, definitely gonna get all the badges. The coins, I could, I could take or leave. I mean, I'm assuming that's like one coin. Probably not worth the effort. Might be too off to the side. No. No, it's fine. Okay, so let's see. Is that is that one coin? Yep, that is one coin. Not bothering. <laughs> Absolutely not bothering. So yeah, makes you immune to status effects. Cool. Very good and cool and based. Based, not cringe. Uh oh, the pyrotechnics are in effect. Uh oh, my curse is in effect. I mean, my blessing. I mean, my hex or whatever it is. I, I don't know. I don't know, whatever it is. Nope. No. Denied. And now, are you prepared for the death you've earned, little man? Uh, we're so close to a level. I can almost taste it. Please enter the access code. Okay, let me just remember what it is. Fourteen twenty-nine. I I like that they let you enter one that's longer than that. Like that's a little that's a little tricky there. Uh oh, Robo Thwomp. Oh, I got something stupid I'm gonna do for this. Who are you, huh? You came here to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room? Yeah, I thought so. Well then, you're gonna have to beat me to get it. And if you lose, your life is mine. You hear me? Mine. So what do you say? I, I should save before I do that. Okay, there we go. Main event, the 66th tr trivia quiz off. Yay! Is, is that like one higher than the, the one at the beginning of the game? If you get five correct answers to the following questions, then you win, win, win! 
But if you get just three wrong answers, you're toast. And you don't want to be toast, folks. But what are we waiting for, huh? Here we go. Question number one. Exactly what's hidden here? Yeah, you're correct. Crud. But that was an easy one. You won't do so well on the next one. I guarantee that. Here we go, sucker. Now, question number two. What's the name of the girl in Petalburg who's waiting patiently for Koops' return? Yeah. Question three. Goomba, Goomba, Lava Bubble, Buzzy Beetle, and Boo. How many feet do they have, total? Uh, that would be... Six. Cause Lava Bubble and Boo don't have none. Question four. It's elementary for non-idiots. Where was the one, the only Diamond Star? No, but uh, that's the best guess I have. Oh, no. Where was it? Oh, he's not gonna tell me. Prince Matthew. Sorry about that. Oh fine, I'm gonna toss an extra hard one your way. You happy now, sucker? Question six. What did Francesca and Frankie from Rogueport lose on Keel Hall Key? No! C correct That's five correct answers. Crud, you win! I'm so mad right now. I'm gonna have sex with my thwomp girlfriend, so I won't be so mad. I lose. I lose. Fine, but I really hate you. Take this, you bum. Okay, so go down to the bottom sub-level and then transfer to the other elevator. Simple. Easy. Oh, there's, there's two more sub-levels. Well, let's check out three first. Only makes sense, I suppose. This is a big plate, yep. Got a lot of stuff they gotta store in here. Snake block! Snake block!
Naka, no. Oh, Naka, no. He touched the purple. And every sailor knows that purple means death. Wait, what did I get? Was that like a door key? I, did, I didn't even... I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, I think it was a security key. Yeah, it's like the card... the card suits, you know? Oh, yep, and you need all four of them to get through this room. Well, as a lazy tailor would say, suit yourself. Okay, so here's where Peach was. She's clearly not in here now. Oh, who's taking a shower? Oh! <laughs> Stupid. Oh, that's a bag. That is a bag right there. Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Oh no! Dude, Mario saw my ex-penis. <laughs> I mean, his fault for not locking the door. We're just looking for a kidnapped princess. We didn't- we saw more than we wanted to see. Oh, and that- that's how you get the security key, so it is mandatory that you come in here. This is a shower room? I guess the, every evil bad guy base of Ultimate Doom needs one. Just because you're evil doesn't mean you enjoy B.O., you know what I mean? Can Mario take a shower? No, he cannot. But he can look in the mirror. I wonder what this room's for. There are beds and lockers, but we can't nap here. There's nothing else, really. The weird thing is it kind of smells nice in here, huh? Why do you think that is? Aw, oh, you cowards. Not letting me sleep in that bed with the cardboard pillow. The door is locked. Oh, it won't let me go in the computer room? I mean, perhaps we don't want to see Tech in the state he might be in. Or maybe this is the computer room, I don't know. No, it was right across from Peach's room. Okay. So, Diamond. Spade. Heart. Heart is green, which bothers me. And clover. Ooh, Princess Peach might be behind that door. Yeah, maybe. Well, we've entered the factory room. I forgot about this room. Okay, so what... What do I want to do here? You want, let's, let's get coops.
Oh, I messed it up trying to do stylish. Hmm, what a- uh, we haven't p tried this before, so... I did not mean to take a screenshot, thank you. Nope. Oh, level up! Level up! You know what that means! And Luigi's here to see me get more bag. And we're refilled. And my the battery in my controller is low. Hang on, I can I, I got this. I got it. Gotta plug it up. Just gotta plug it up. Just gotta get a quick plug. There we go. Okay, like like it was no thing at all. And <laughs> yeah, the Nintendo low battery notification. This is the X-Knot factory. I think they make all kinds of stuff here. Pretty complicated, what with the crane and the pipe and all those gears. Maybe we should take, just take this room one bit at a time, don't you think? I mean... Yeah, yeah. Okay, activate the conveyor belt. And then you go through here. And then you bring out Vivian. And then you go under here. And then you pop out there. And then you check back here. And then there's nothing back there, so you go over here. Oh, there's a thingy over there. That, that's a very suspicious looking platform. Okay, I definitely want that mushroom. Gotta do some platforming. Okay, thank God. Vibrate the controller a little bit. Get on the gear. Climb on the gear. Have no fear. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yes. There we go. Yeah, that one I can't hold. Hmm. You know, I'll get rid of the Volt Shroom. Oh, there's a panel up there. Oh wait, what is, what's down here? I mean, there's a Bouton. What does that do? Oh, okay, it makes the staircase- Oh, yes! Yes! No, wait, hang on, hang on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, so I think I need to... Oh yeah, I need to go over here. 
And then I need to do this. And then I need to do that. And then I need to do that. <laughs> okay, now just gotta do a little bit more platforming. I mean, I think I just have to get to this one. Yeah, this is the only one I need. Because I have a staircase! Does not fill me with the spare case! Just, just checking. Oh, here we go. Bo! 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 I've been waiting for you. Oh man, have I been waiting. And I hate waiting. Crump. You've been waiting for us? What does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. I used the crystal star to lure you here. So that I could take all of your crystal stars. How brilliant is that, huh? And I, I want to know the best part? Your little peachy princess isn't even here anymore. So Peach isn't here? Where did you take her, Crump? Buh! 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 Like I tell you the plan, that's not this villain style. No, I won't be doing anything like that. Sorry, really guys. So, ready for showtime? You guys are gonna be the perfect workout for Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. If Magnus Von Grapple is so good, how come- I hope you're off to the challenge, cause this thing is raw horsepower, kiddies. Buh, buh, buh! So this is a new song, actually. I think in the original it just reused the old theme. Yeah, last version was buggy, so we made improvements. One, two, a dozen. Get ready for a whole new way to experience pain, you junior varsity losers. You're the one who's gonna suffer, Crump, no matter how many times we do this. But I gotta swap out, uh, to Goombella, and you know why. Ah, Magnus Von Grapple 2.0, the upgraded version of Magnus Von Grapple. Its basic attack is a drill move that drops from above. It also sometimes releases its fists for flying X-punches. Each X-punch has a max HP of 5, an attack of 9, and a defense of 0. When those fists are flying, you may get attacked by the fists and body in one turn. Take care of those low HP fists early on, trust me. When the body's HP gets low, it'll also fire machine guns and who knows what else. <laughs> I like how her book has knowledge of things of the future. Yeah, it is a little funny that the Magnus Von Grapple 2 is in there, considering that it did not exist. But, uh, it's a, it's a video game, so I don't know. <laughs> it may not look too different from the last version, but it's much stronger, so be careful. I still think the whole design is a little ridiculous, though. I mean, he looks like a takeout box. Here it comes, suckers. Magnus Drill Attack. <laughs> I just... I, oh, I know. <laughs> I, just, I just assumed magic. Nah, it's just a really good book. 
really good. So hang on, let's let's do uh, power lift. Get a little buff going. Yeah, there we go. Now, now that we've tattled this guy, what what partner should we get out? Did this guy did this guy have any elemental weaknesses? You know what? Let's bring Flurry out for a little bit. Flurry's been a little neglected lately. Time to unleash some of the sweet new special features on this bad boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Okay, yeah, so we need to we need to take this out. What is that? <laughs> okay. You can just do that, I guess. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Up defense, yep. Yeah. Yep, I have more defense than any man has ever had. <laughs> yeah, Mario didn't even flinch from that. But but now I have been debuffed, so. But you know what? I can rebuff. Oh wait, I forgot to put on new badges. I mean, not that it seems to matter that much, but... I could have done it. You guys should be little puddles of nothing by now. Oh well, I still got some tricks up my sleeve. Oh, is this the part I'm thinking of? Because it's, it's going to be funny. If it is. Yup, here, here we go. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. Eat this. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> the crowd cannon. Grotus heard that the plain white toads had hurt me, and he took it a little too literally. No. How? What? My sweet powered up robot is on the ropes. This is wrong. Oh, uh, I was going to try and see if I could super guard that. Would have been really funny. 
I love ending a battle that way. And now I'm rich. The effect of the charm is run out. Well, I gotta get another one then. Grotus! That is a large explosion. <laughs> okay, bye, Crump. Crump was sent to Andromeda. Mario! Supernova. That's a pretty effect on that star. The last crystal star had been hidden in the Exonaut hideout on the moon. But by the time Mario recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Grotus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? Well, we don't know. Here's this guy. Well, we're here. Now, where's this stupid Parsley Sanctum? The crystal star's there, right? So they say your putridness, and lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. Great! About time something worked out for old Bowser. In we go. I say, I'd like to m mount a large animal horn in my foyer to highlight my social status. Oh my goodness gracious, you have terribly fine horns, don't you, you great thing? What? That's disgusting. Get away from me, creep. You can't have my horns. Eek! M mommy Oh, hello there, guy. Boshley Heights is nice on a warm afternoon, eh? What's that? You're a great and evil king, are you? Really? Yeah, you know, guy. I think maybe you got a little too much sun, eh? Got a little too much sun, eh? Oh, look! My heart trembles! The fountain, so elegant. This is art at its finest. So very observant as usual, my dear Gold Bob. Indeed, surely this is an artist's art. Yes, dearest, one cannot measure its worth by coins. That is what makes art art. And yet, the filthy rich always seek to define art with their ill-gotten coins. Yes, they seek to buy it. Yet how can anyone appraise what the eye cannot perceive? Whoa. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You people scare me. Seriously. Wow, you're big, mister. What's your name? Uh, Koopa Coot. <laughs> I am the great Koopa Coot, all-time ancient babbler. Uh, yeah, right. Mister, that name stinks. Never mind. Whoa, baby! Awesome! It opened! Talk about lucky! I guess rage really pays! Yes! This is it, Hacky! This is finally it! Whoa! <laughs> At last, I've gotten my mitt on a crystal star! Yes! Impressive work, Lord Bowser! You're the absolute best star-getting guy!
You there! I have you now, villains, you common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What are you implying? I'm no little thief. I'm... I am the great Koopa Koot. I'm taking this. Mess with me and I'll bore you to death. I see. Unfortunately for you, that's a red herring. Yes, a fake. If you want it, it's yours. What? A fake? But look at that fancy display! The pedestal and everything! It's so posh! If it's a fake, then where's the real one, huh? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi! <laughs> you have got to be kidding me! You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Ugh, those Mario brothers are the most annoying brothers of all time! Hmm, how bothersome. The fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world could Mario and his brother be heading? Where? Lord Bowser. <laughs> ah, Paragoomba, what are you so worked up over, hmm? Tell me. Now reporting, sir, uh, and ma'am, sir and ma'am. Mario's collected the seven crystal stars and is heading for the Thousand Year Door. A uh, what? A Thousand Year Door? What in the heck is that? The Thousand Year Door! An unbelievably legendary treasure is behind that door. No! Oh. Then I'm going there too. Immediately, Princess Peach and the legendary treasure will be mine. Tammy, we're leaving. Now. Ah, well done, Luigi. Way to not fail, yet. Wherever you are, may you continue to triumph. <laughs> we finally got all seven crystal stars. Delightful. Now we can open the thousand-year door. Ah, but... We still don't know where Peach is. Well, I suppose we should head back to Rogueport. Perhaps that dear Frankly can help us find Peach. Oh, yeah. Now, where was the teleporter? Was it was it on this level? I don't remember where it was. Well, okay, it's not over there. I guess it's on the, the next level down. No, there's nothing here. Maybe we'll, I think we can go in here now. Oh my, where are we? <laughs> it's bit crushed in the game too. <laughs> you are Mario, are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am tech. I must tell you something. That is why I brought you to this place. Princess P Peach. I am so sorry. Most of my data was er erased and my main power unit was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cached memory trying to stay operational. Mario, you know that Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach. Please, please. Princess Peach is with Grotus, heading to the Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. Peach 
witches in the Palace of Shadow? <clears throat> Backup power failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Rogueport. Teleporter room is on sub-level 2 of the fortress. I will release the room lock. Please hurry. There's barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. happen to you when the power is all gone I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness but if it will save Peach I would gladly do this because until I met Peach I knew nothing of love do not worry about me I am just a computer just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please, and tell her. Thank you for me. We shall, Tech. So, hurry to the teleporter room on sub-level 2, now. Mario, save her. Mario, darling, we must save Peach. We have to do it for that poor tech as well. Well, I mean, I was gonna do it anyway. Ooh, spooky. Spooky red lights. Now, which, which room was it? Was it this one? No, it was not. Mario wasn't completely sure about saving Peach, but now he's convinced. Yeah, I mean, if a computer tells me to do it, I will definitely do it. If, if chat, if chat GPT tells me to save the princess. No, yeah, yes, I know, I know. I didn't mean to press that. Oh, okay, the, it's just open. It's just open. Oh, what did it did it blow up? <clears throat> I dare say I heard something a moment ago. Chew. Hmm. Uh, no, I got the heating problems. <laughs> well, if it isn't Mario. Over here, son! You brought the crystal star back from the moon with you, didn't you? Uh -huh. What? Talking to my good ear! The x not fortress was on the moon? Ah, yes. The Princess Peach was there too, I assume. Yes, indeed. But the x not boss took her and left for the Thousand-Year Door. Aha! Just a bit ago, I smelled some rank air and went to the Thousand-Year Door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape pass through to the other side of the door, with Princess Peach! Are you quite sure? 
I was under the impression that the door needed all seven crystal stars to open. Believe me, I know, but I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. Uh, I think I'm gonna dawdle a little bit. You know, just beat a chapter and everything, got some stuff to explore. Okay, let's let's get some more info from this guy. How to save money. Okay. Not by talking to you. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, so there's some shops that'll pay you more. The Minstrel. Grifty. Yeah, I talked to him. I got the lore. Oh, oh, confirmed different Merlin. Confirmed different Merlin. There's like an invisible block over by the puny place. I think is what he's saying. Yeah, I think I think I'm already ahead of you on that one. I'm like really ahead of you. Yeah, that's a, that's a strange coincidence. Yeah. Coconut bomb and an egg bomb. One is an atom bomb! Okay, I think I've made the omelet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so some some recip some recipes. Zesty's sister, huh? Hmm, I wonder I wonder who that could be. You think perhaps that could be a Paper Mario 64 tie-in? Yeah, so he's like, he tells you about secrets, you know. Some secret item locations. Yeah, 
Yeah, um, again, you get stuff that I've known for most of the game, and then you get, like, secret item locations. <laughs> an incident, hmm? Oh yeah, I think I know about this incident, yes. Yeah, I might have, might have said something. Might have said something, might have been helpful. Yep, okay. Okay. So we have completed his whole thing. Now I kind of want to go back up to the surface. See what's going on up there. Oh, okay. <clears throat> ooh, 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 your inbox is now haunted by me, the spirit you met on the XS Express. I bet you're wondering how an ethereal being like myself can type an email. I actually possessed the train conductor to do it. Ooh, don't worry though, he's doing just fine. How do you type with boxing gloves on? I think maybe I'll do my new diary like this. Email's convenient, you know? And leaving a record of my afterlife is cool, in a spiritual sense, I mean. So, good luck with your quest. Not yet time for you to come over to my side, but whenever you do, I'll welcome you. Ooh, hoo, 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 farewell. The, the spooky man. Oh, also that reminds me. Uh, something I completely neglected to con- to, uh, comment on. Yeah, there's a- there's a feller- there's a feller in the background there. You might recognize him. Okay, RDM, final issue. In a shocking series of events today, local authorities report that Zesty delivered a left hook to the jaw of the gadabout Flavio late this very afternoon. Our investigation has revealed that the cause of the feisty fisticuffs may have been Zesty's anger that a shipment of gourmet ingredients spoiled on the dock because Flavio had held the dock crew with a marathon two-day tale of high seas adventure. While Flavio is recovering from temporary memory loss, Zesty has already been approached by a glitz pit talent scout, Don Gumbadi. I think the kids got spunk. We'll take the world by storm, said Gumbadi. Keep your eyes open for big things in Rogueport and elsewhere. As events continue to unfold in surprise, local pride in our humble port town grows stronger than ever, along with the smell. Thank you for reading. Okay. It doesn't say anything. Didn't say anything about a points deal. Okay, couple's cake. Spicy soup, and then drop in a snow bunny. Soup? Snow bunny? You found us. Special final issue. Urgent news just came across our desk about a certain missing quiz show host, Chuck Quizmo. <laughs> We've received insider info that his absence can be blamed on his upcoming show. Hey, who's fibbin? <laughs> Sadly, the troubled production has kept him too busy to join for this adventure, but this reporter wishes him luck. It's sure to be a hit when it premieres. See you next time, Chuck. We'll count on it. Oh, if you're seeking a truly special dish... Try adding an item known as a point swap. This will let you flip the intensity of whatever you're cooking up. Ah. <laughs> okay. So let's go to the surface. Oh wait, hang on. Let me put let me put some badges on. Cuz I got So are these my new badges? Mm. 
Hmm. I don't know what to do. There's so many options. Here, uh, I'm gonna... Take off. I think I might take off the happy heart. So that would, yeah, that gave me five. So that means I can put on another defend plus. Hey, bud, what's up? Dang, in today's happy lucky lottery, I was as far away from first as possible. But I'll win tomorrow for sure. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll I'll be here until tomorrow. Is, do I get something? Uh, I did get one. Oh. I think, I think I got more than one. Amazing, happy lucky, you won the second prize. Oh, a bag. Thank you for a bag. Well, now I'm wondering, maybe I should take the defense off and put on the power plus. Though that's slightly more expensive than the defense. Every number matched but one. Yeah. You know what, I'll get rid of this and then put on the power plus. Intergalactic power plus. I asked my brother if he wanted to play soccer with me, and he was so happy. If I'd have known to make him so happy, I would have asked him sooner, you know? But since I didn't, I'll just have to play with him that much more from now on. The dunking of Noodle. Can you dunk a Noodle? I mean, I guess you can dunk anything if you're dedicated enough. Ancient prophecy discovered. When the moon shines bright, the inn will draw near. Oh. What's going on tonight? Is the man in the moon freaking out or what? Okay, what do you got? Um... Nothing that I need all that bad. So, we got a little bit of extra time, so I might do a couple side quests. Anybody seen Duichi around here? Wait, do I have a... Uh, do I have any shine sprites that I can use? Where are those? How do I, how do I know? Oh, uh, wait. No. Are they here? Yeah, they're here. I, got, I only got one. I only got one. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, uh, yeah, see? I missed one, so I get to have that one. So no permanently missable content, not in this game. Okay, so what do we got? What do we got as far as side quests? <laughs> I want to meet Luigi. I must meet my darling Luigi. Come to the fountain in Poshley Heights for details. Yeah, I think, I think I know what to do for this one. I'm gonna become a career Luigi impersonator. So that's here, right? I assume seven is the moon. Yeah, here we go.
Eek! I can tell, I can totally tell, I've never met him before. But I can absolutely tell, you're the real Luigi! Ah, I knew it, this is so cool, oh my gosh, what should I say? Ah, I'm totally freaking him out, I'm freaking out Luigi! Oh no, what should I do? Oh, right, duh, 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 the cake! Ah, Luigi is too many things! I'm so stupid, duh, duh, I have the worst timing, I'll just leave this here. Uh, what should I do? Should I ask for a handshake? <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, why are you dressed like me? Hey, who do you think you are? You filthy imposter? Police! What? I'm no imposter, I'm Luigi! Hey, say something, Mario! Eek! Ew! 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 How dare you speak to Luigi, you liar! You lie -gy. You'll never be Luigi, no matter how many green hats you wear. Now stop interrupting our special time. But I'm pretty sure I'm me. This is a nightmare, a bad dream. I won't believe it. Wake up, Luigi. <laughs> uh, oh no, what have I done? You've seen such a horrible side of me. The worst side. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, thanks really, Luigi. You're so sweet. Thanks for coming today. I'll, I'll always treasure these moments. Always. So please, come see me again, okay? <laughs> well, I got- I got too many items. I got too many freaking items. You know what, I'll get- I'll get rid of this. I mean, I could probably just sell a few things. I don't know. Just engage in some light capitalism. Some cap lightabilism. Oh, gotta buy Luigi's new book. So... What do I got? Hmm... I mean, if I got into a battle, maybe. Because, yeah, I, I don't have any room to... <laughs> to put stored things in. You know what? I'm gonna sell this Ultra Mushroom. Just one. Just one. Okay, got the spite pouch. Okay, just just free up a little room at least. I mean, I don't know, it's better than nothing. It's netter than buffin. Okay, what else we got? Hmm. Excuse me one sec. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's Frankie. I'm looking for something. I can't say exactly what here, but I can tell you in person. I'll be waiting on the west side of Rogueport. You do me this favor, and I'll thank you with a member's card for Pianta Parlor. Yeah. So I think that's the last mini game.
I got the itchy neck. Oh, hey, Frankie, I didn't expect you to just be out here. You're taking on my trouble? Well, I'm glad it's somebody tight-lipped, that's all. See, after returning from Keel Hall Key, I lost my wedding ring, believe that? And I can't really look for it in front of Francesca, so you gotta find it. I know I lost it after I got back to Rogueport, so it's somewhere in town for sure. If she finds out, I'll be yelling I love you a billion times, so you gotta do this. Okay. I will look for the ring. But you, you really gotta, you really gotta be more careful. You gotta watch it, buddy. Okay, so we'll start looking over here. Okay, so I don't I don't see nothing. Cortez, you see anything? Anybody see a ring? Okay, I'm gonna check over, over in the secret area. I doubt it's gonna be over there, but I wanna, I wanna be sure about it. No, nothing over here besides the beautiful, beautiful spring. Kinda jumps up when you get on the ledge here. I don't know if that's a bug or what. I mean, it could be underground. He could have dropped it down the drain. Could have got sucked in while working on the drain. Is that something? No, that's a piece of paper. Ugh. Have you seen a ring? I thought we already talked to you about that. Is it, is it over here? D does she just tell me if there's something nearby or is there like some way of knowing what direction it's in? Because I, I will admit I would like to know what direction it's in. I wonder if I can get up on that roof. Have I been on that roof before? I might have been. Oh, hey, there he is. There's my man. Let's see, adventures. Oh, of course. Me, I'm done questing for now. Yep, I scaled Hitsong Tower the other day and rescued the fair Princess Eclair. That's one adventure I'm never gonna forget. Nope, it was just too exciting. It was just astonishing, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, and this part is just wild, but here goes. 
Itzong Tower stands atop a jagged, unclimbable cliff beyond the north northernmost sea. The winds whistle down the cliff, howling like banshees singing songs of hate. People say it's pretty much the scariest place in the world, and I had to go there. Blocking out the bone-chilling howls, I somehow managed to reach the tower's door. I was terrified, but thoughts of Princess Eclair warmed my heart and gave me power. All of my companions felt the same way. They were with me to the bitter end. I think emphasis on bitter. The door to the tower swung slowly open to reveal an inconceivable darkness. I tried to call out Princess Eclair's name, but I couldn't even breathe because... As I strained my eyes in the darkness, I saw the most terrifying beast of all. The Chestnut King himself appeared before me. He was monstrous and drooling. Puddles of toxic goo dripped from his mouth, melting the very ground at our feet. I couldn't stop shaking, but I gritted my teeth and faced the evil beast dead on. I dodged the king's fangs, jumped onto his chest, and gave him a hammer whack. My swing split the air and crashed dead center and onto the chestnut king's skull. Hope powered me up, bro. I was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king, and I was loving it. This is it, I thought. I can win this. I'll risk it all on my next blow. I gripped my hammer tight and waited for my moment. The tension stung me. Schwack! The ocean winds raged against the tower windows. With that sound as my call to battle, I advanced with no mercy in my heart. And then... And then... I beat him. I defeated the Chestnut King. An even worse beast came next, a nightmare thing, but I beat it too. I rescued Princess Eclair, it was all over. Then I came back to Roport and had a light lunch, and that's about it. Huh? You think there's more to the story than that? Not at all, that's it. That's the whole story of the quest for the Princess Eclair, the end. But my adventures won't end here, bro. They'll never end. Yeah, we're gonna be playing a new one in November, I think. Hey, you remember me? It's me, Bluey. Man, that last battle was hairy, you have no idea. I was burnt to a crisp, but I was actually kind of relieved, if you can believe that. But if you want the whole story, you should ask, just ask Luigi here. What? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, there's definitely something about that. Something about that we're not being told here. Hmm. You're hiding something from me, brother. Okay, but let's see. Let's see the book. But sore and weary, Luigi finally found the rapturous ruins beyond Grimble Forest. Within them, time and space were lost in nothingness. Within the pale emptiness, Luigi found a young sleeping boy. Our hero called out gently, and the youth woke from his long, long slumber. My name is Cranberry, and I've waited for you for the last thousand years. The boy went on to tell Luigi the secret truths of an ancient land. He said that the marvelous compass had been created by the ancient Luff people, who used its powers to, of foretelling to rule the world. But the Luff Empire was then cursed by the compass and fell into ruin. The survivors dismantled the compass and hid its pieces. Cranberry was the last of the ancient race. His role was to wait until one with a noble heart came to take the burden of the future. None but Luigi could have shouldered this weight. The boy gave him the compass piece and said, Fear the curse, but find your eclair. Luigi accepted the part. The boy's words burned into his brain. His duty fulfilled, the boy began to fade into the blank nothingness. As he faded from sight, a look of joy lit Cranberry's face. As Luigi gaped, both boy and ruins vanished, leaving our hero in a dark wood. With six of the parts reunited, the compass now pointed to the final part, to the quest's end, to Hate Song Tower, and then her voice spoke. Princess Eclair begged for help from the void, pleading for a hero. Luigi's heart burst aflame. Okay, now what we got in here? Hmm. That might actually be good, I don't know. Yeah, you know what, I'll buy one of these. Hmm. 
my head out soon. Okay. I mean, it's probably not gonna last too much longer. Like I said, I just gotta find... I gotta find this ring. Gotta finish the quest. Hmm. I don't know. I don't like that. Oh, there it is. There it is. How'd it get up there? How do I get up there? I mean, I guess I just use the normal way. Yeah, you, you got just barely enough, enough spacing. Oh, why am I stupid? Why did Dustin jump into the water? Is he stupid? Okay, so do I just jump across this? Oh yeah, you can just walk. You can just walk. So what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll finish this quest and I'll play the new mini game and then I'll stop. And then next time we'll probably check out the pit. I mean, not the glitz pit, the other pit. The other one, dang it. You found it? My ring, thanks Mario, from the bottom of my heart. Now take this reward. Yeah, the tube game. I haven't even been able to look her in the eye lately. I kind of miss her now. So if you'll excuse me. All right, so let's let's see what this is. I'm gonna play the tube game. The tube game! Okay. Am I going left or right? Oh, no, wait. I know what I'm doing. I know what this is. Yeah, we're going. We're going. Oh, there's a big one over there, but I can't get it. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh. Oh man. Whatever. Whatever. Got to get got to get through. Got to get through. Okay, it doesn't hurt to go on those. I thought maybe it would. Okay, so I made back my money, at least. But I think we can do better than that. gonna do good for <laughs> for doing that oh! 
Well, nuts. I am doing worse than before. Okay, there's really no way to keep your momentum with that. Yeah, that was- that was worse. That was worse. But no, hang on, hang on. I can do better. I can do better than that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Gotta take the corner sharp. Gotta take the corner sharp. Ah, oh, crap. I got stuck on the wall. Oh, that's not good. Technically a new record, though. Sounds like we got a hit record. Okay, that's that's good enough. Okay, but she's gonna have something new to tell me. Okay, more about me, hmm. The other day, a customer named Arfur asked me out to dinner, but I said no. I mean, I don't even know him, right? Still, I wonder if he really likes me. I just don't get it, though. What could he like about me? I mean, really. Okay, that's all for now. How embarrassing. Wait. Okay, yeah, that's... Oh, oh, sorry, didn't mean it. Sorry! I wonder if you get more high scores if she'll tell you even more things, or us if or if it's once per game. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out though. Like I said, my plan for this game, the rest of this game, is next stream I'm gonna try to do the Pit of 100 Trials. But like I said, spoilers. After we beat the game, we may have to do it again. So twice we'll do the Pit. Uh, and then the other pit, the glitz pit, there's like a post-game glitz pit, I think. I don't remember if there's anything special about it, but you can do that. And obviously I'm gonna want to finish up the side quests. Like I said, I haven't totally decided if I'm going to commit to trying to do all the recipes in the cookbook. Might, might end up looking for the star pieces, though. I don't know. But you guys will have to let me know how you feel about all of that. But anyway, that'll be, that'll be it for right now. Next time, more Metroid. And, uh, who knows from there. But thank you for joining me, uh, probably mostly Miles. Mostly just Miles, but you know. You know. I, 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 I'll see you. I'll see you around.